So next, um, we have Jessica Halliday from the Teipo Tahi Trust. Jessica, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, kia ora koutou. Um, we would like to congratu congratulate the Council on revising the annual plan in the context of COVID-19 and ongoing uncertainty, and thank you for the opportunity to comment and be heard. So Te Putahi Centre for Architecture and City Making is an independent non-profit organisation. We want to make it easy, desirable and fun for everybody to participate in the shaping and enjoyment of Ōtotahi Christchurch. FESTA was our founding event and has been a key event for us since 2012. We've also partnered with Council on a range of projects and events such as Christchurch Conversations and our current programme of Central Neighbourhood Walks. We also appreciate council, past council grants that have enabled other projects to proceed, including FESTA, our Māori Architecture Tour and Open Christchurch 2019. Last year, we were particularly proud of the collaboration with Yo-Yo Ma, Rekindle and Naitahu. It was an electrifying process delivering an event on the banks of the Otakaro within three weeks from concept to live event. In terms of specific aspects of the annual plan, we support the boost to strengthening communities funding, support continued heritage funding and the continuation of the Heritage Festival, support the ongoing funding of gap filler, life and vacant spaces in the Green Lab and the wider Enliven Places programme, support council social procurement processes, support the continuation of the Innovation and Sustainability Fund at the same level. We very much support Council's strategic priority of meeting the challenge of climate change through every means possible. And this fund allows Council to support third sector organisations and communities to contribute meaningfully to that goal. It is vital that as a city we continue to progress and expand our work on climate action. Te Putahi has an ongoing commitment to city conversations and community engagement on climate action in new ways and we'd be keen to partner with Council on this in the future. To that end, we also support Council's ongoing investment in cycleways and improvement to footpaths and safe walking routes, a major way to address the 53% of the city's greenhouse gas emissions that come from transport. Just to briefly note, Te Putahi started the year focused on presenting FESTA 2020 at Labour Weekend. Sadly, due to COVID-19, we have made the decision not to proceed with the event. It's been a very difficult decision to say farewell to our signature event, one that has been significant in people's relationship with the central city after the earthquakes. We have also valued our partnership with Council and other partners on Christchurch Conversations. In 2019, presenting conversations with Helen Clark, Bill Reid and Antwi Acom, we recognise the context has changed in many ways. However, conversations to inspire and challenge us to think differently about the city's future remain crucial. A city conversation about what we value, how we want or even need to live here in this place is critical at this time to address strategic priorities and as you lead into the long-term plan. So in summary, we hear and we care deeply about the future of the city. Te Putahi will continue to shape our programme to the changing context and we're open to new opportunities and partnerships. We have a unique ability to bring the widest variety of voices together to discuss, debate and progress city making. This is because we're a trusted partner who can offer independent, strong collaboration, established networks, adaptability expertise and a commitment to inclusion. We look forward to continuing to work with the Council and a range of partners to grow knowledge, motivation, conversation, engagement and participation in city making so that Christchurch is truly a place where people and the city thrive together. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions? Jimmy. Uh, only one question, particularly emphasise the uh, heritage, the festival, the funding has been cut and also uh, regarding to the a city conversation the funding also will be cut. Those will impact the op operational cost. So what is your recommendation? Is increase the rates or is increase the borrowing can meet the needs? Um, no, we cancelled the festival because it's not possible to present it. It wasn't about not having confidence in uh, council's festival and events funding. Um, it's because it was logistically impossible to invite a couple of hundred architecture and design students from Australia and New Zealand to fly here in October. And um, as an organisation, we wouldn't 
um, as we're not a rate-paying organisation, although it's run and governed by ratepayers, we wouldn't uh, comment. We don't think consider it appropriate for us to comment directly on rates. Thank you. So thank you for joining us um, this morning. Thanks for the work you're doing and uh, noting um, your offer to and willingness to, to partner um, articulated a number of times in your submission. Thank you. Thank you.